Okay, so um, I'm going to talk about how I made this pair of um, cage knickers for my burlesque performances. Uh, the first thing I did was I got a pair of control top uh, high-waisted underwear in my size and I cut because the control top has the extra panelling here and here uh, for tummy support I cut in those lines you can actually see if I bring it up close you can see where it was factory sewn um, with a G you cut it off about here and fold it into a V shape to meet your elastic but because this was a panty one um, I kept it and I was lucky enough to find one that had a side panel as well uh, so I cut just along the lines but if you can't find one that has a side panel you can fold the material over and zigzag. Now it's very important to use a zigzag stitch otherwise it will break instead of stretching which is what you don't want because you're going to have a bit of stretch along there. Alright so I, in mine because they're not um, the butt support ones uh, I used a elastic and you, as you can see it's quite um, I think this is the 12 uh, millimeter elastic it's quite a firm elastic you don't want the cheap uh, like thin elastic, you can see it there, it's quite thick. Um, and that will give you good support. Uh, I put it at the very bottom corner there, where I cut it. And I did it, I attached it to the very bottom corner of there. Um, what I did to measure how much I would need is I actually pinned to the front and I went and stood in front of a mirror Oh, actually I pinned it to the back and I went and stood in front of a mirror and I pinned it to the front where it would stretch a little but not too much so about like that because you want it to be firm you don't want any gaping especially around the front nobody wants to pop a flap um, so I did that uh, I measured exactly halfway between the two points the top and the bottom and I put a pin there and did the same thing measured cut and sewed and obviously top to top is what's happened there. Um, I used just a straight stitch because there's not going to be any um, zigzag and elastic won't fray too much. Uh, but you can use a zigzag if you would prefer to have that stability. And as for the fringing, I put that in front here of the, of, oh there you go, um, in front of the second piece of elastic and I made it about one and a half times the piece of elastic so that it would drape nicely uh, downwards so when you, when you hold it up like this it does yeah, there we go stupid fringing you know what fringing is like it does drape quite nicely because you don't want it too straight it looks a bit weird when you do that uh, and then it was just a matter of putting my rhinestones on this is a fairly simple pattern um, I'm not an expert rhinestoner, so uh, can't really help you guys out with that. And yeah, that was the finished product. It's really easy to make. Um, it doesn't take much time, and it doesn't take a lot of skill on a sewing machine. You just need to know how to use your um, straight stitch and zigzag. Uh, also, as an added tip, um, try to use a needle that is meant for stretch stitching otherwise you might have a little bit of pulling and trouble you want a rounded tip to go through there and um, test on your side your side pieces that you've cut off uh, to make sure that um, the fabric is sewing nicely on the stitch settings you have I tend to go very small on these ones um, very small stitch setting just so it's quite reinforced. Uh, and that's about it. That's all. That's all I did to that one. Okay. Bye.